Hi, Nicole and Albert again for the Relax My Dog vlog. On last week's vlog we had a couple of questions from Alfie, Valentina and Imogen about their preferred breeds and whether I could tell them a bit more about the characteristics and behaviours of them. So this week we're going to be covering the Lhasa Apso, Chihuahuas and the Silky Terrier Cross Tenterfield. So we really hope that you enjoy the video. If you do, give us a big thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed, make sure that you do. So the first breed that we're going to be covering today is the Lhasa Apso. The Lhasa Apso was originally bred in Tibet to be a loyal guardian and now it's transferred this loyalty onto being a guardian of families everywhere. Although small in stature, the Lhasa Apso does tend to think that he's a much bigger dog. So much so that a lot of people tend to describe the breed as lion-hearted and sometimes because of their looks, their protective nature can come as a bit of a shock. Now a big consideration before buying into this breed is that they aren't the easiest dogs to train. They're very clever and sometimes they can take this over as being a bit manipulative so you're going to have to be really tough with them when they're a puppy to make sure that they know who's boss. Few puppies come cuter than the Lhasa Apso. Their beautiful coat and their sparkling eyes are two of their defining factors. Now their beautiful coat does need a lot of grooming. You will have to groom it daily to make sure that you keep the tangles at bay. It's also really important for us to note that this dog doesn't get on with children very well and it does tend to prefer adults. So if you have got small children in a household then it might not be the best breed for you. Okay, so our second dog of the day is the Chihuahua. The Chihuahua is an incredibly popular dog breed and it's largely due to their small size and the variety of coats and colours that they come in. They require very minimal grooming and exercise and they make perfect companions for apartment dwellers or city dwellers. Now the Chihuahua may be the world's smallest dog breed but what they lack in size they make up for in personality. Chihuahuas are incredibly affectionate dogs and they usually form a really strong bond with one person. They absolutely love their humans and they love nothing more than spending time with them. However if you are in a household with children under the age of 8 then most breeders will recommend that you don't have a Chihuahua. This is just because of their small size and the risk of injury. One thing to know is that despite their small size they do need daily exercise and it's recommended that you give them about 30 to 40 minutes. This is just to run off all of their excess energy. Okay so last week Imogen asked us about the Silky Terrier cross with a Tenterfield. Now there isn't that much information about the crossbreed however I have managed to gather some information about both breeds. Crossbreeds just take characteristics from both sides so hopefully this will give you some more information. So I'm going to start with the Silky Terrier. Now, despite his small size, the Silky Terrier is tough and confident and has a huge personality. Their main feature, as the name suggests, is their beautiful silky blue and tan coat. They do require some grooming because of this though. We recommend about two to three times a week. Now, some main things that you should consider before getting any kind of Terrier is their Terrier characteristics. Albert has these two, he's got Jack Russell in him, so it's biting, chewing, barking and you should think about these things before you get any terrier. They are also known to get into mischief if they're left on their own for a long time. So if you are out at work all day and you need to leave your dog at home then this might not be the breed for you. However, despite all this, they're beautiful and loyal dogs and they love nothing more than spending time with their family. Okay, so our final dog for today is the Tenterfield Terrier. The Tenterfield is a loyal companion dog with a confident demeanour and an eagerness to please. This makes them great working dogs and it also makes them relatively easy to train if you start from a puppy. When you are training these dogs, positive reinforcement training is recommended. No yelling at this loyal breed. They're very intelligent, lively and happy dogs that love time with their family. In fact, they would love nothing more than to accompany you everywhere which is why they make such a great companion dog. So we really hope you enjoyed the video and we hope that you learnt lots about these four brilliant breeds. Me and Albert are away next week so unfortunately there won't be a vlog. However, if you leave your comments below then we'll get back to you and we'll make an extra long video when we come back. So from me and Albert and everyone else here at Relax My Dog, we hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you again next time. Bye!